Jim Colonel really is a good friend of mine. We have to talk about a few things, but he is a good friend of mine. Um, and by the way, beat Lehigh, please. Thank you very much. <clears throat> when a certified letter from uh, Lafayette College arrived in our mail on March 9th, my wife and I were perplexed as to why. I wondered what could this be with over, uh, with, uh, over, after over 49 years. Is there some kind of senior citizen reunion being organized? Did I not return the library book? Uh, after reading the notification letter from President Hurd, confirming my election into the Maroon Club Athletic Hall of Fame, we were instantly excited. I was overwhelmed with several compelling emotions ranging across appreciation, pride, humility, and mostly joy. The joy was primarily grounded in relief, this honor was bestowed while I'm still upright. As I went through the vetting process of selecting a college, it became clear Lafayette College was a highly respected academic institution with a fine, very fine athletic program. For me, it was a perfect fit on these two fronts. In addition, attending school in Eastern Pennsylvania put me in comfortable proximity to my family living in Elmont, Long Island. Lafayette College provided a great education with a meaningful degree, which allowed me to hedge my hopes regarding a possible Major League Baseball career. If playing professional baseball did not work out, I was well positioned to pursue a business career. The baseball program then led by Norm Gigon was certainly well respected and seemed to command the attention of baseball scouts who routinely attended our games. As I recall, during my four-year tenure here, several fellow teammates also went on to play professional baseball. I was fortunate to be among those awarded the chance and will always appreciate being given the opportunity to play in this noteworthy program. Equally important, the Lafayette athletic programs of baseball, basketball, and even intramural sports created many venues for me to establish friendships, several of which have stood the test of time and still exist today. My experiences here amongst the key enablers in allowing me to tag myself as a pretty lucky guy. So in closing, I would be remiss in not thanking my family, friends, and teammates for their support, both past and present. Special love and recognition to my wife and best friend Susie for pushing me forward over 32 years. Also my daughter, Lisa, for maturing into a terrific mom and a responsible tax-paying adult. And my father and mother for insisting I go to college. <laughs> Finally, a huge thank you to the Maroon Club executive committee for their decision to select me into the, at this athletic hall of fame. Simply put, I am wholly honored to be standing here. My hope is someday our granddaughter Alexandra can understand the legacy behind this and recognize with pride that old Papa Fish in fact did some good. I am quite grateful and sincerely appreciative, but with all due respect, what took you so long? Thank you.